Everybody loves a handyman Step right up and take on his hand To show you how to be a man Or whatever your gender if you have hands What is up guys, it's Donnie here Welcome to another episode of your favorite show how to be handy. Now today, as you saw in the title, we're going to be checking continuity in a cable without using an expensive multimeter. So the project I got on the go today is I've got this balanced audio cable. What I want to do is I want to cut it in half, make two cables out of this by putting new ends uh, on the cut joint. Now in order to do that, I have to find out which conductors inside this cable are connected to which portion of the jack on the end, okay? There's the tip, there's the ring, and there's the sleeve. All right, so why don't you come with me? We're gonna look around the house, see what kind of materials we can find in order to do this on the cheap. All right, so the first thing you're gonna need to find is some wire. Now, I just uh, noticed here on my wall that we've got some pretty nice looking wire right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and Cut this off. I have to do it one-handed, so I'm just going to cut this off. All right, just pull it out. Pull it out from the wall. You want to get a, a nice lengthy portion so uh, you have lots to work with. Okay, so next we're just going to have to look in here, see what we got. We're going to need a battery here, 9 volt, that should work nicely. And then we've also got to find something to connect the battery to the other wires with. So, I know I have this uh, guitar tuner here, and it has this uh, 9 volt connector in here that we can utilize uh, for our little device. guys so I fabricated my continuity tester here and it's all ready to go so all you got to do is basically um, you have to test which of these two uh, conductors um, completes the circuit um, I've got it hooked to the battery here and I've got the wire in the apparatus connected to the tip of the balanced cable so one of these two conductors is connected to the tip and that is the whole purpose of this. I want to find out which is connected to the tip so I can solder on the new connector uh, in the right place. So what you have to do to find out which one is live basically is all you got to do is simply take uh, each conductor. I'm going to start with the white one here and you've got to put um, each end to your tongue. And if it's completing the circuit, it should give you a little bit of a shock. So uh, the white uh, did not give me a shock. So I'm going to switch to the red. Ah. It works. It works. It works. It literally works. Um, anyway, so I hope you guys uh, enjoyed that episode. Uh, subscribe. Follow me on Twitch, Tumblr, Tinder for my usual request. And um, stay safe, stay healthy, ring the bell.